out on the road Mountains so old Fall on the countryside Starting where The mountains left me I love where I began I'm tired and warm Woke up this morning, found I was confused. Spun right around, found I had lost the thing I could lose. Can we ask everyone gather in a big circle just in this area? Shoulder to shoulder, join hands, one big ohana. There's a place that I come from on the east side of paradise. We look at this awesome piece of work. I want to thank Mele Miros and Estria. Why well, I love working with Estria, because all the projects I've been involved with him, the children have a voice. They can be proactive and involved, and they can even be inspired to like receive from us what we received from them sort of passing on the baton. We went and sang for some of the kids at Waimanalo Elementary. That verse is what the most important part of the song that I leave with you guys. Ku'u, my, we own it. Your aina, your kulaivi. Look your mountain, look your ocean, look at all the people, look at all the kupuna, look everything that people laid out for you. Look the batons they're holding out. Born and raised in Waimanalo, so to be able to bring this opportunity to these kids was absolutely amazing. You only can teach so much in the classroom, but bringing them out here brought a whole other world to learning, and they loved it. Painting this wall made me find my place in Waimanalo. It really helped me to learn that this place is very special to us. It's about a big hand for the young ones and uh, their involvement. It's all about them and the continuity. I started playing slack key when I was 10 years old. And about 13 or 14 years old, Gabby used to come to our house and sit in the garage. So I got to pick his brain. He got to teach me a bunch of stuff. And I'm just so honored and blessed here to see Brother James Bla Pahinui representing the Pahinui Ohana too here. Grandson Gabby Pahinui. Later on, I graduated from high school, and a year out of high school, I started playing with Palani at uh, the showroom in Alamona Hotel. Kiva was, I think, a year and a half, two years old. I'm reminded that my dad has now moved into the realm of being one of those voices on the wind. And we are listening to them and we have to continue on the pathway that they set forth to us. So, mahalo nui to Estria and all of you wonderful keiki who have worked so hard to bring this to life. Mahalo anui. Oh, yeah. Ecoupu
During the planning of this mural, I had been contacting a bunch of different Ohana and family, and that week I was telling Estri, I have not yet contacted anyone that I can speak to regarding Auntie Nikki Hines. And we stood there talking in the garage. He looked at me, oh, I'm Auntie Nikki's grandson. <laughs> I looked at him and was like, boo. Oh, oh today was, you know, it's so amazing. You know, I really just want to say that how much we appreciate this honor and she was a real <clears throat> kind of pillar of this community and she was filled with aloha and loved this community and the kids and Hawaii music, Hawaiian lifestyle, Hawaii culture. And I just want to thank you guys and, you know, thank the kids because this kind of allows her to continue to teach, you know, the aloha that she had for Wamanalo and our whole community because she loved it. So, thank you. Mahalo kaino. You know, in my classroom, I always try to make it a point to bring up our kupuna, uh, where the music came from before it was Josh Tatofi. And there were times when I mentioned these names and I just get blank stares. And I really appreciate this mural because it starts a talking point. And as we drive by in this community, we're gonna look and Keiki are gonna ask, who are those people? And that's our opportunity to teach. And from my perspective, each one of them represented some part of aloha. And they used their music to share that aloha. Uncle Palani was aloha for our rich heritage, our Hawaiian history. Gabby, even though I never knew him, Pops, Aloha for Aina. All the songs he sang about our Vahipana. Then we have Auntie Nikki, and she represented Aloha for community. And my tutu was Aloha for Akua. She was always reminding us that this gift that she had was from her Heavenly Father, and that she needed to Millions share it. Of men Lift up their eyes to one God. So many people calling to him by many a different name. One Father loving each the same. Hello everyone. You know, it's not just me or just Estria, like it's a collective effort of the community, the people, other artists that are on it. And it's just nice that our styles can blend with each other and highlight these people that just represent everything Aloha. Thank you to the students of Waimanalo. You guys were awesome. I will paint with you anytime. You helped us to create a landmark that connects with this place and these people in this time so that's an awesome thing it's really an honor for us to be a part of that in our own way so birds all along the sunlight at dawn just singing why am i all the blues singing why am i all the blues and also not a cool blue Thank you. David Kapiga. <laughs> <laughs>